Last month, one of our followers has suggested to do a shadow graph regarding water reflection. I think he saw that in a game called Kingdom. So I thought it might be a good idea and a challenge for myself to do that shader graph since I wanted to do the same as well for me. So after working and experimenting with shader graph, I reached this water shader graph, which do the reflection and the distortion of the image inside the water. This is Ramez from Binary Lunar and I'll show you step by step how to create this shader. Create new Unity 2D project and name it to the Water Shader Graph. And like all our previous Shader Graph videos, you need to install the Universal RP. Then you need to create Rendering, Universal Pipeline, Pipeline Asset, Forward Renderer and name it to the Renderer. Then you need to assign that in the project settings in both quality and the graphics panels. To not waste time on creating the scene, I went to the Unity Asset Store and downloaded the free asset called 2D Handcrafted by Alien Nude LTD. I included the link to download that art in the description. Imported that to the project, then I went to the demo scene and copied the background game object to my scene. Then I kept adjusting the position of the background game object and removing some items from it till I'm satisfied with the view I'm seeing. Then I thought it might be a good idea to use a 2D sprite shape to create the ground that will be used for the character to, work, to walk on it. So I went to the package manager and installed 2D sprite shape and installed also the shape samples and the extras right click on the hierarchy and create to the object sprite shape then i selected the grass and rocks sprite shape to create the ground and i kept adjusting it till i reached the desired results then i created another sprite shape to be the water background and I set the order layer to minus one to be behind the ground. Change the color to something browny. Brownish. I didn't feel happy with the scene, so I changed the camera size to seven. Then I did the required adjustments to fill the screen with the ground and the back water background. Then create render texture and the render texture will be used to render what the new camera will see. We will create a new camera named water camera and we will determine what this camera will be showing. Create new camera, name it water camera. Then change the output target to texture and set the texture to water render texture that we just created. I forgot to change the size of the water render texture, so now I'll reset it to 3000 on X and 1000 on Y. But don't forget to reset the texture on the camera itself because it will not detect the changes of the size. So you need to delete the texture and reassign it again so the camera detects the new size of the render texture. Then keep repositioning the camera and resizing it till it fills the upper half of the screen. Now create new square sprite and name it water. Set the sorting layer to 1 or 2 maybe. Then keep resizing it to fill the bottom side of the screen. That square or the rectangle will represent the water that we will create. We're ready now to create the shader. Right click in the project panel, create shader to the renderer, sprite, sprite unlit graph. Name it water reflection shader. Open the shader graph, then create 
sample texture 2d node then assign to the texture the water render texture that we created of course you can expose that texture so you can change the render texture on the fly so create texture 2d property then assign it to the texture on the sample texture 2d save the shader graph now create a new material name it water material then drag the shader graph on it then drag the water material into into the water game object in the hierarchy you will start to see a duplicate version of the upper side of the screen because we, now we are rendering what the camera is seeing on the water game object itself now we need to flip the view to represent a reflection so we create a new tiling and offset node we link that to the uv on sample texture 2d we set the tiling on on y to minus one and we set the offset on y to one to get the flipped view now we need to create the water refraction or distortion so create new node gradient noise and set the scale to 3.5 we need to make that noise move over time so create a time node then multiply the time node with vector 1 create vector 1 property name it water speed then drag that to the graph and multiply it with the time then create add node and link both the multiply output with the gradient noise and to get that gradient noise animated we need to create new node tiling and offset then we link the output of add to the offset and to make that the tiling controllable we need to create vector 2 name it water texture tiling drag that to the shader and link it to the tiling the idea here is that we will use the noise movement that we created to control the UV of another texture that will create the refraction or the distortion of water so I went to texture.com website and downloaded this texture I included the link in the description download and drag that texture to the project download and drag that texture to the project then create new node sample texture 2d and link the output of tiling and offset to the UV then create texture 2d property name it water texture set the texture to the one we just downloaded and link the texture to the texture place in the sample texture 2d we're not seeing any movement yet because we need to change the wrap mode of the texture from clamp to repeat now we can see that the distortion is moving and now we can see something like water movement you can change the water speed to 0.1 to get that smooth slow movement now if we link the sample texture to the output immediately to the UV of the tiling and offset we will get a very harsh distortion that it ruins the image behind it so we need to create a remap node to mitigate the effect of distortion so create remap node also a multiply node then link both the sample texture 2d and the remap to the multiply and then the output of multiply to the uv of tiling and offset then to control the refraction strands create vector 2 property name it refraction strands make it as a slider set the minimum to 0 maximum to 2 and set the default value to 1 currently drag that to the graph then link it to the input of the remap then set the in min max on the x0 and on the y1 then the out min max on the y to 0.02 you will see that there is now a slight distortion visible in the multiply node this multiply node we're not seeing any result yet in the preview window because i linked by mistake the last multiply output with the uv while we should link with the offset so I'm sorry for that let's now create vector 2 get the output of multiply to the X of the vector 2 set the Y to 1 then link that to the offset and we will start seeing 
the refraction of water in the preview. Save the shader graph, then go to the water game object, make sure that the water texture has been set to the one we downloaded, hit play and we start to enjoy watching something like really water reflection with some distortion on it. But as you can see it's very clear like a mirror now so we need to do a final step by adding a color node to control the color of the water and it's alpha 2. So go back to the water reflection shader graph, create a color property, name it water color, drag that to the graph, then create multiply node and multiply the output of the sample texture 2D with the water color node. Then link that to the color on the master node. Set the alpha of the color to 40% to make the water transparent, then hit save and we now done with the water effect. Now you can control everything on the fly, you can change the water speed, the water tiling, the water texture, the water color, based on your needs for your game. As an extra I added the binary lunar viking character which I created in previous videos to the scene to test how it looks the real time reflection. You can check those videos related to 2D character creation in the description below or in the information card on the top right corner of this video. While moving the character I noticed that the reflection is moving somehow faster than the character itself and that's because we need to match the size of the water with the water camera. So just resize the water game object to match with the water camera to get the reflection in the correct location. Then also as additional step to give more beauty to the scene I added uh, post processing to the camera by selecting the camera, adding volume, then creating new camera profile and add override to the bloom, increase the intensity and threshold, added a color adjustment to make the colors more vivid, also I added vignette and this is it, we created a nice looking water reflection that can be used in any game in the next video, I'll push this further by adding maybe a water flow to it and maybe a texture above the water itself, like bubbles or any texture you imagine. I hope you enjoyed watching this and benefited from it. Don't forget to smash subscribe and the notification bell not to miss any further videos. A big thank you to our supporters on Patreon, Benjamin Benji, Harry Byronin and Pamit Aiden. Till next video, see you soon.